Hello my dear students. We have st uh, already started chapter 5 Acid, Bases and start. Salts. We have already studied about what are acids and what are bases. So today we are going to start a new topic that is indicators. What are indicators? Dear students, we cannot guess whether a substance is acidic or basic in nature just by looking it or we should not taste each and every substance because our many, many substances are harmful. So how can we test whether a substance is acidic or basic in nature? We use special type of substances that are called as indicators. The solutions, in, uh, indicators are the substances that can change the that changes the color in acidic or basic materials. That indicator shows the different colors in acids and bases which tells us whether the substance is acidic or basic in nature. Like examples are like litmus paper, turmeric, china rose. These are natural indicators. Phenophthalein and methyl orange. These, these are uh, uh, synthetic indicators. Now litmus that means litmus means it is a natural dye which is extracted from lichens. It is the most commonly used indicator. Litmus is available in the form of blue litmus paper and red litmus paper. Basically it is of mauve color in distilled water. And after that it can be changed into two colors that is two solutions that is red solution and blue solutions. Or this can be formed in the form of strips we can take them in the form of a strips that is litmus paper or generally it is available as red and blue litmus paper these litmus papers help us in finding whether the substance is acidic or basic in nature red color strips tells us the substance when it change into blue that means the substance is basic in nature and blue litmus paper when changes into red color it it tells us the substance is acidic in nature now second indicator is turmeric the turmeric indicator it is basically haldi which we use at home turmeric is another natural indicator it also changes the color in acidic and basic solutions turmeric paper or you can say turmeric remains yellow in acidic solutions and uh, red changes into red color in basic solutions like if we mix it with a vinegar it will remain yellow but if we we'll mix with a detergent it will change into red color you have seen a turmeric stain on a white shirt which becomes red in color when detergent when we wash it with a soap what will happen it will change into red color that white color yellow color spot changes into red color that means the turmeric uh, that means turmeric reacts with basic solution and it changes into red color okay then next is our china rose china rose in, is another natural indicator it changes it changes into dark pink color when it reacts with acids and uh, it changes into green in color when it reacts with bases similarly if we'll talk about phenolphthalein which is a synthetic indicator no change in color it is colorless when it reacts with acids and it change in colors when uh, change into dark pink color when it reacts with bases is it okay now we'll talk about neutral substances what are neutral substances when acidic solution is mixed with a sol basic solution then they neutralize the effect of each other and hence this remains the neutral solutions are formed is it okay resulting that there is neither is acidic the solution that new solution formed is neither is acidic nor is basic in nature so it is a neutral solution now uh, ph scale what is ph scale ph scale is basically it is used to test how acidic or basic solution is that means it is consist of many numbers of dye mixtures of dyes it will tell you how much uh, acidic material is if your material is having ph less than 7 they are acidic in nature and if the solution is equal to 7 that means neutral in nature and if the solution having pH level greater than 7 they are basic in nature. They are basic in nature. Now next topic is neutralization. What is neutralization? 
when an acidic solution is mixed with the basic solution then a new substance is formed that is called as salt salt and water are formed in this process with the evolution of heat that means acid and base when react with water they form salt and water hydrochloric acid we have taken here hcl plus when will it will react with sodium hydroxide that is naoh it gives us sodium chloride that means nacl this is which is called as common salt plus water and heat evolution is or uh, heat is also evolved the sal salt produced in neutralized reaction may be acidic basic or neutral depends upon the acid bases used during the reaction now the uh, use of neutralization reaction in our daily life uh, many examples are there like in first example it is in treating di in digestion in digestion that means our stomach contains hcl acid that sometimes leads to acidity or indigestion to relieve that indigestion or to kill that germs that is very essential a person sometimes overeats too much acid is produced in the stomach this causes indigestion to neutralize the excess acid formed in the stomach anti acid like milk of magnesia is taken milk of magnesia contains a base that is called as magnesium hydroxide is it okay milk of magnesia we will do uh, will take uh, milk from the kitchen uh, from the fridge thanda doodh jise aap kehte hain cold milk and we will drink it okay then the it will help in your indigestion because it contains um, uh, base now ant sting what is ant sting the sting of the ant yani dung jaise baat hai aapko theek hai the sting of the ant and a bee is acidic as it contains formic acid the pain caused due to the ant sting or a bees can be neutralized by using bases like sodium carbonate that is baking soda or calamine lotion then we have soil treatment farmers usually need to change the nature of the soil so that their crops can grow well so certain plants do not grow well if soil is acidic in nature too acidic or too basic so soil may get acidic due to acid rain or by the use of excessive fertilizers if the soil is too acidic it can be neutralized by adding base like slack lime or calcium hydroxide or on the other hand if the soil is too basic the organic matter it is treated by organic matter which releases acids this helps in neutralizing the basic soil is it okay next is factory waste some factory waste contains harmful acids if these wastes are allowed to flow directly into the rivers or lakes what will happen the acids present in them harm may harm the aquatic plants and animals so to avoid this factory waste are usually treated with a base